Shalom, Shalom Israel, this is your brother DeWire coming to you with another lesson. And this lesson is going to be actually a four-part series on ingredients of getting the kingdom. So the Most High is the Master Chef, and he's put all his ingredients in his book, right? But you got to seek out the book of the Lord and read so you can understand what ingredients you need to get the kingdom. So the main ingredient is being of the elect. You have to be of the elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High. Next ingredient, you need to have faith. You have to have faith in what? Believing that he sent his son to die for you to bring you back to the adoption of sons, right? Salakia. Next ingredient is going to be being humble. Being humble enough to understand and uh, being a, con- a contrite spirit to ask for repentance and understand you were wrong. You went off. And the final ingredient, but not least, is doing the work. Because you got to what? Have faith and works, right? So hopefully this lesson is edifying. But this, this, uh, this lesson is going to consist of the elect. Because only the elect is going to be humble enough to repent, turn from their wickedness. And only the elect is going to be able to what, do the work, right? It's not going to be grievous for them to follow the commandments. So, we're going to go right into it. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is the name of his son, his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And guess what? He's the savior of the nation of Israel. So, first ingredient that we're going to go to, which is actually the most important ingredient, is being of the elect. Now, we know Israel is the elect chosen of the Most High God. But the Most High has a remnant that he's going to bring back. And that remnant is the elect of the elect, or should I say the select elect, right? Let's go right into it. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and we're Book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 4. It says, For Jacob my sake, Shalakia, for Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have called thee by, by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. So scripture right there says, Israel is the most high elect, right? Let's get more precepts to prove that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 42. And we're going to start at verse 1. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. It's talking about Christ. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets. So this is a a, a future prophecy on Christ. But once again, Christ is what? From the tribe of Judah, of the nation of Israel. So he is also who? The most high is elect, right? Let me, uh, Isaiah 65. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, and verse 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it, 
and my servant shall dwell there. Well, we keep hearing servants. So let's get a precept regarding servants. Because anybody could probably say you can serve the most high. But Bible don't say that, right? This is Romans chapter 9. I'm going to start at... We'll start at verse 1. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises, whose are the fathers, and of whom concerned the flesh Christ came, who is all over, shall I, who is over all, God bless forever, amen. So what verse 4 says, what the service of God only pertains to the Israelites. So only the Israelites can be servants, right? But our discussion this morning is the elect. This elect elect is going to be chosen by the Most High God as a remnant to be saved, right? This is the key ingredient to understanding this truth and to getting the kingdom, right? Let's go to First Peter. First Peter 1 and 2. I'm going to start at 1. It's, and it reads, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shahamashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. So, these strangers are who? Israelites. Scattered. That's part of the curses, right? Elect. According to the foreknowledge of power, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Mashiach, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Yeah, he says, elect according to the foreknowledge. So, just like Yahweh declares the end from the beginning, right? So it was already ordained. This is predestination, man. Just playing that extra part and hope the most high has the ingredients made up for you to get the kingdom, right? That's what we hope for, right? Let's see. Let me uh let's go to Colossians. Book of Colossians, chapter 3. Because once again, the the most important ingredient is to have the foreknowledge of the Most High already in your spirit. The way He's already called you out of this darkness. So, what you can try and get the kingdom, man. That's what it's all about, man. It's about doing the work, being of the elect, and getting the kingdom of the Most High. Now, you will go through much tribulation, but hey, that's part of your story, right? This is the book of Colossians, chapter 3, and verse 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of power, holy and beloved. Bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as anointed forgave you, so also ye do. Yeah, but the point I wanted, verse 12, put on therefore as the elect of power. The elect that he for that he foreknew, right? Let's go back to Second Peter. It's all about the elect. You have to be of the elect 
to be humble enough to understand this truth. So like yeah, you have to be of the hopeful elect to be humble enough to accept this truth. To come as what? As a little babe, right? That you don't know anything, right? That's what it's about. Mm, what I want. Second Peter 3 and verse 1. Say what I want. It is. It says, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and the commandment of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior so these words are meant to stir up our remembrance you know when I, I heard the word of salvation I was like damn man that sounds like the truth let me investigate more it was like something that that I can't explain it was like something that clicked in my mind it was like man this is this is why I was born this is the purpose that I have on this earth and it was why because the most high has what chosen to wake me up understand this truth and give me wisdom not to understand it to what wake up my people right but it's all according to the foreknowledge of the most high God though. You know, from the beginning. Let's see. And you know what? The most high is waking up who? Women, men, and children every day. According to the foreknowledge, right? It's the book of Second John. Chapter 1 and verse 1. The elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not only, but also they that have known the truth, for the truth's sake which dwell in us and shall be with us forever. See, if you read the scriptures, you know the scriptures is all about reincarnation. Or regeneration. And right here, John is writing to who? The elect lady and her children, right? Who knew, who had foreknowledge of the Most High and understood his plan, right? This is the book of Luke, chapter 18. And the truth is what these laws, statutes, and commandments. Precept on precept, here, letter, there, letter, Psalms 119, 142. This is the book of Luke, chapter 18, and verse 7. And shall not power avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Yeah. So, we crying to the Most High by doing these videos, we doing these uh, on the road epistles to what? To wake up our people and cry out for the abomination that we see in this land, man, because we tired of being here, man. We tired of having to see this wickedness being perpetuated on our children every day. We tired of seeing our people getting shot down in the street. We tired of being under these curses, basically. But hey, the Most High is waking up his hopeful elect. So what, we can get out of here, right? This is Matthew chapter 24. I'm going to start at verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh so like it, yes, there should be no flesh be saved. 
But the elect, so like, let me start that off. This is the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh be saved. But the elect, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. For the elect's sake, right? Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. It's false prophets, come in the name of our Savior. For there shall be false Christ, so like a false anointed, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So if it were all possible, they was going to be able to receive, deceive the very elect. Let me jump down to verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. So, yeah, it's, it's all about the elect. It's all about the select elect. And hopefully this has been edifying. Once again, this is going to be a uh, first part of uh, more than likely a three-part series, Ingredients to Get the Kingdom. So the most important part is what? Being of the elect to the foreknowledge of the Most High God, right? You have to be humble and you have to do the work. So Lord willing, Shalakia. And you have to have faith. One of the most important things, you have to have faith. So, Lord willing, this has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shalom.